so I've done the planning up to this point in here so let me just hit the section box here and I finished the suspended ceilings that were for these this floor here that was for the underground and as you can see this is what turns out and it wasn't really difficult but we do have a comment here or an issue that I need to discuss later on so let's continue with the explanation because I've done it for the other parts as well here in the cat file I go to the plan for the uh, ground floor so here we have the heights 240 200 255 and then 270 so this 271 does cause us an issue let's pull up the plan for the ground floor so you can see and the 270 that I mentioned earlier was about this part in the lobby that's in the ground floor so our floor to floor distance is 3.1 here let me just open up the cat file again and go to the cut to check this once again so here i'll measure from floor to floor using this distance and it says 3.1 and it's the same as the one that we got earlier so let's see what we have from the floor to the ceiling so it's exactly 2.7 but here's where the issue comes in because in the cat file itself in the planning let me pull it up so here for the suspended ceiling that we have it does say 2.7 here but if we take a look at the plan itself we'll see that this is counting the ceiling itself and this is where the collision comes in and so let me go back to the revit file and let's show you the, where the collision exactly happens here in the 3d view you can see it better and this is this is exactly where that happens and our issue begins so let me just select this and go to the comment section and see what the problem is so here i'm going to put the comment and we'll know when we can use it later on it will be beneficial to us so let me just type it in i'm just going to write uh, the height of the false ceiling is ambiguous and problematic according to the information included in uh, the 07 sheet or in sheet 07 uh, this height of the false ceiling of this space should be checked and the result informed and there we go so this will come in handy later on you may not realize it now but it will help us let me just type it out here and all right so be careful to do this every time an issue arises especially when you're working with your contractor and this is a, a small tip that can help you later on although the case is different when you're working a solo project but here we can work this out and try to come up with a solution as an example for you when you're trying to deal with this later on yourselves so here it is and let's see all right now that we're done with that we'll go to the next part but after this we'll be having a thorough review of this and see what the issue exactly is and how to get rid of it so the rest of the plan was fine and as you can see all of the joinery was well done and we didn't have any issues coming up so here it is let me just rotate this and the only part remaining is the dimensions and the height that we have for the joinery in here so this needs to come right below the roof that we have the ceiling because it was set in the plan and in the joinery chart as well it says it comes right under the ceiling so i go here and i'll right click on this open up the orient view and then floor panels and then open up the ground floor so let's just quickly adjust this this one goes here and then this one goes here then i go to the side view that we have here 
then I'll uh, drag this down this one goes up there and there we go and then I'll pull this here and then I'll hide the ceiling temporarily so I go here and then I'll hit tab to see if we can highlight the outside area around this or I could go here instead and then right click on this to select all instances and then click on visibility in view then I'll select the ceiling here once and then I'll isolate them and this is how it looks like let's go to this view here all right so then I select the attach and then use it here so that we can connect this to the suspended ceiling that we have here let's just see if it does it if it loads up so attach may not be the best option that we have here let me just cancel it real quick because using attach takes a much longer installment therefore i go here and then i'll hit cancel here so the height that we have for the suspended here ceiling here is 2.4 so the walls that we have surrounding this area here i'll go here and then i'll select this then i'll put in minus 0 0.5 for the top offset let's see what happens uh, all right let's just edit it to minus 0 0.6 this time and let's see what it looks like now all right let me just zoom out of this and pull up this view here so the processing for this method takes a much fewer amount of time because it doesn't have any calculations to do like when we use attach so here this one's been fixed and then i'll go here and then i'll hide the floor that we have here so as you can see uh, this part has been fixed we're waiting for this one and then this part that we have over here is the lobby and the height for this one is 2.55 and this other area was 2.4 so i'm just going to select the walls around this area right here i'll select this one and then i'll isolate it then i'll go to the side view here put it on white frame so we go to the top offset again and type in minus 0 0.55 all right let's retype it to 0.65 okay i think the minus 0 0.45 was closer all right there we go then i'll right click here and then reset temporary and after i've done that i'll hide the flooring again so for the area that we have here let's put on the suspended ceiling as well i go to the ground floor as you can see in the ceiling plans not floors let me just zoom in here on the plan that we have so let me just take a look at the cat file quickly and here for the ground floor and the suspended ceiling we have the height that's two meters this area here is two meters so i'll select this put the height at two meters and then i'll go to the sketch setting then click on auto so cancel on the error here because we have the wall here this error is popping up so in order to fix this i go here and then i'll select pick line then open up the visibility graphic and then i'll go to the filters so i'll uncheck this filter that we created before so we can hide the joinery here and so we can look at the plan easier and uh, have an easier job working it so i'll click on this one then we go here all right so trim for this one and then trim these ones as well and there we go so i'll hit vv again and then i'll check this box again 
and in the plan here because we do have a column here we'll trim this part with this one and then we go over here and then we'll trim this part as well and then we'll go over here select boundary line and then i'll select this pull it up to this point here then hit vv again and then uncheck this one and then okay so this one goes here and then here and then here and the same one goes for this part here so i'll select trim and then sl here and then out here and it automatically trims itself so sl again then we go here and click on this one and then i click on the outside and it does it automatically this is a helpful technique as well so we have the height of two meters and then i finish it up then create similar here cancel then open up the sketch then i'll select a rectangle and pull it from here up to this point here so here we hit vv again and then i'll check this box here and then okay and then using pick line i'll go here and then here and then here first we select trim and then sl and then we go here and then trim the outside and then i'll finish it up so because in this part right here the duck goes through we need to redo the suspended ceiling and the height here needs to go back to the same two meters and we need to put in a two meter gap compared to the outside wall here so i'll select the false ceiling and then edit and then i'll go here let's just get rid of this one and then this one and then i go here and this one as well so then we go here and we have two meters up to the framework it checks out so then we trim this part with this one then i finish up and then i'll select this ceiling that we have here hit create similar and then hit a sketch from here down to this point here so let me just fix this one real quick and then let's go up here and do this one as well Control z and then we'll go here trim this one with this one so we select this all right so we go here we'll select trim and then click on here sl and then click on here here and then click on the outside and then i'll fix these up all right there we go and after i've done this i just finish up and now it all looks fine so for this area that we have right here the height is two meters so i'm just going to select this part here and then this one too and then i'll also isolate the joinery here and then i'll uncheck this area and this one as well and then we'll go to the side view here and then i'll select the wall over here and for the top offset i'll put in minus 1.7 change it to minus 0 0.7 because i'm not sure what the height is here just put in minus 0 0.8 then mm, 0.9 and then let's go with one now it's all right and then we go here and then hit reset again and then i'll click on this one as well and hide the floor again and now here is an issue that we have here so here in the suspended ceiling that we have according to the cat file itself the height is here oh, as in two meters and so i may have made a mistake and the one that i put in may have not been two meters so let's go here to the annotate tab 